Pokemon Red and Blue is where it all began, the coming of age story of a young boy who leaves his home to travel across the land and ultimately ends up saving the world from a psychic cat-like creature, all while fighting off an annoying next door neighbor. But is this really where it all began? Turn the clock back a few more years before Pokemon was released and we have a couple of other coming of age stories about a young boy who leaves his home to travel across the land, ultimately ends up saving the world from a psychic cat-like creature, all while fighting off an annoying next door neighbor. Mother 1 and Mother 2. Now I'm not saying that these games are the same as Pokemon or that Pokemon is a spiritual successor to the Mother games because there are vast differences between the two, especially in the core gameplay, the collecting mechanics, the character development, the emphasis on multiplayer, but as you dive into it, there are a number of similarities that just can't be ignored. And there's a good reason behind this too, because the core creators of Mother 1 and 2 are some of the same core creators of the first generation of Pokemon, six of them to be exact, and that's quite a few developers that are the same and they developed plenty of little callbacks of their earlier project for fans to pick up on. So today, let's investigate how Pokemon Red and Blue hit some really awesome Easter eggs and callbacks to Mother 1 and 2. First off, let's talk about the core story elements that are the same. All the games start off with a young boy who's leaving their mother behind to start on a mission either to save the world or to be the very best, like no one ever was. Neither character has a father present in the story, with Ninten or Ness's dad only calling on the phone occasionally, and Ash's dad never even mentioned at all. From here, both characters meet their next door neighbor, who is destined to be their ultimate rival as the game goes on. Ness meets Pokey, and Ash meets Gary, who both share nearly identical sense of adolescent humor. I mean, just look at some of the jokes here. While these could just be random similarities, there's more to the story. When one looks at the internal data of Pokemon Red and Blue, one of the original default names of your character was going to be Ninten, the hero from Mother Part 1. And while this could have just been all the letters they could fit in for Nintendo and shorten it down to Ninten, this just seemed like too much of a coincidence to create a very similar character story arc and accidentally name the main character the same as Mother 1. While Pokemon is definitely not a sequel to Mother, the characters were showing us early on that these characters are very similar in many ways and a little nod to the past. Next, let's talk about the sprites in the game that are just too similar to ignore. First off, the landscapes. Both of these games represent more of a modern city setting instead of a medieval setting, which is really unique for RPGs at the time. I mean, just look at all the Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy games that were coming out around this same time period. I mean, the layout of the cities, the little signs out front, the way the people are walking by, very similar. The areas in the town are very similar between the two. Mother 1 has a zoo, Pokemon has Safari Zone, and the areas inside those zones look very similar. The caves, they're quite familiar as well. But even beyond that, the character sprites in all these areas, extraordinarily similar. Ash, Ninten, and Ness all look way too similar with that hat, bike, and basic sprite. And yeah, I know, how many ways can you do a sprite with a kid riding a bike with a baseball hat? But regardless, they chose for every one of these characters have these same basic attributes. And then let's take the lab assistants in Pokemon and compare them to Lloyd, the stereotypical tech guy in the game. They're almost identical between the two, especially with those little glasses that they chose to use. And this guy, Mother 1. I can't find this guy's sprite in Pokemon, but I'm almost positive this guy was in Pokemon. And if you can remember the spot, please let me know in the comments section down below. Pause for a second. I was actually editing the video and I realized where the similarity is. I think this guy, at least to me, reminds me of the fisherman in Pokemon Red. I mean, look at the two uh, sprites there. Not identical. Man, are they similar. Let me know still in the comments if you think this is the character that I'm thinking about. But when I was playing through Mother 1 for the first time, all I could think about when traveling was just how similar this game looked to Generation 1 Pokemon. But the sprite in the history that is probably the greatest callback of all is Mewtwo. This is certainly not the Gigas or Gigu in Mother Part 1. Both are cat-like psychic beings that hate humanity for passion and want to bring about the destruction. Neither enemy has a proper mother, either being raised by an adopted mother or by scientists. Both surround themselves in a psychic ball, and they honestly, they just look way too much alike. I mean, the cat-like features, they're just too hard to ignore. While Mewtwo isn't the core villain of Pokemon, and Gigas is the core villain of Mother, the two are the final villain that you fight in each of the games. Of all the nods, this is the one that's pretty much too hard to ignore and a definite callback between the two. 
Another area of similarity is the overall progression in the game. In Mother Part 1 and Mother Part 2, you're collecting 8 songs or 8 melodies in order to advance to the end game. In Pokemon, you collect 8 badges in order to advance to the end game. Especially in Mother Part 2, it's going to be very similar as far as the progression goes, because you actually fight an individual boss in order to get that particular melody, just like you fight an individual gym or gym leader in order to get that particular badge in order to advance to the next town or the next area. These progressions are really similar, and yeah, I know a lot of games did have progression routes where you collect things, but not so much as like a particular boss giving it to you, or a particular gym leader giving it to you, like in Mother Part 2 and Pokemon. I'm not saying it's the same, but it is a similarity between the two um, overarching pattern in the games. And let's also talk about the music in the game. All three games have some of the most iconic video game music of all time. And if you really want to look at like the composition, there are some similarities in like how the songs are composed, but some are direct ripoffs from the other game. Take for example, the amount of toy music in Mother Part 2 is nearly identical to the Indigo Plateau in Pokemon Red and Blue. Just listen to them back to back here. They are nearly identical for the first part, and even when the Pokemon one speeds up, it retains the same pattern that was present in Mother Part 2 song. Was this a recycling of the song for a later game? I don't know, but it's too similar to ignore. Overall though, you can't take away anything from any of the soundtracks, even if they sampled from each other, because all three games have some of the best video game music I've ever heard. The games even have a very similar tone for RPGs at the time, but were very lighthearted for the majority of the game with plenty of little dialogue, jokes, and quips by the people, and some of the little quips or jokes are so similar that they're nearly the exact same between the two games. Take for example the man who's lost his dentures in Mother 1. And then you have the fellow in Pokemon who has also lost his dentures. I mean, come on. Two characters in two separate games could lose their dentures in similar areas. However, it is much more likely that the creators in both the games just want to put a little crossover in there, a little Easter egg for fans to notice. And that's really what all these just boil down to. Easter eggs or crossovers. I don't think there's any lore implication between the two or that one leads into the other. I just think some of the creators that worked on Pokemon wanted to show homage to the game that they came from and that they loved so much. While each of these series continuing on with Mother having part 3 and Pokemon having a nearly endless amount of games, the similarities are most common in these early games. But what do you think? Do you think the creators left little easter eggs in Pokemon or just random coincidences? What other similarities have you seen while playing the two games? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, go out there, find a great game to play, and just simply have a great rest of the day.